Hi friends. Today for Toolbox, I'm going to teach you about the garbage can tool. And in the garbage can tool, we say, I let the little things go. So a hard part about that is figuring out what is a little thing and how do I let it go? And on the other side, you'll see that our picture is a garbage can. So I'll come back to this a little bit later. Um, I want to stop start <laughs> by explaining what I mean by the garbage can tool. So the garbage can tool is a way that we can, and it's also a place that we can throw out the unkind words and junky things uh, that sometimes come our way in life. You know, not everything is always happy, right? Some not so awesome stuff happens sometimes. And these are irritations that distract us from the important things that are going on in life. And what's important is to know that, that other people's um, views of you and things that they say isn't what's important. It's uh, your self-worth does not depend on them, right? You're in charge and what you do matters, right? And what you think matters. That's why we add that to our daily affirmation every day, okay? With the garbage can tool, we can learn to reflect and decide how we react to situations. We can learn how to reconcile. That means we'll reserve how to We'll learn how to resolve or finish and close something that happened so that we can move on. But what is garbage? We say it's the garbage can tool. I want you to think, what is garbage? And really, I just mean, what, what is stuff that we put in the garbage? Hmm, what do you guys think? Yeah, maybe it's uh, paper towels that are super dirty. Maybe it's um, a plastic bag that we used. And now it's covered in gross stuff, so we want to get rid of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe it's something we can't fix or repair, and uh, it ha just has to go in the garbage. Yeah, so it's stuff that we don't want anymore, right? When we don't want it anymore, we throw it in the garbage. And so that's how I want you to think about this tool, right? Some feelings we have or things that happen, we don't want to think about them anymore. We don't want to feel them anymore. And so you have to learn to throw it away and let it go, okay? Those words and actions are like trash. They might be yucky, rude, inappropriate, and they're not worth your attention. Now, these are little things, right? And we talked about how it's, I let the little things go. So those are the things that we can throw away and forget. Some words and actions can really hurt, and we can't just throw them away without explaining it. This is the big stuff. So before I read a story today, I actually want to talk about some of the big stuff versus the little stuff. Okay? So I wrote some of the things down that I think are big and little stuff. In this book, this um, boy has a problem, and he learns to talk and work it out with his friends. So I'll show you that too. We're not going to read this whole story. But I thought it was good because it shows a classroom where, oh, excuse me. Oh, bless me. <laughs> where he's learning to get along with all his peers. And at home, you might be learning to get along with your family in new ways. And here, he doesn't agree with his brother on which game they should play. And they both start getting really upset. And it's like, but why? We just wanted to play a game. Nothing big happened, right? And so sometimes we have to put those little things aside and come up with a solution that works for everyone. Or, as you'll see at the end, he makes a decision that's really, really uh, mature. So here he's fighting over the ball with her. And they get angry at each other. And she takes a big breath. He lets her have the ball. And then he thinks about what to do about it. He talks to her about it. They sit down, he listens to her, and he, she listens to him. And they really get to understand each other's point of view. They're polite, they're friendly, they're not yelling or grabbing at each other. They talk about ways to solve their problem. So this is a way to get through the big stuff, right? He didn't want to fight with her over the ball anymore. And so he figured out a way to talk and work it out so that they could be happy and both get to play with the ball. 
So I thought it was really good. He went home and he talked to his dad about it. He thought about it. It was more. And then the next day at school, they worked together. And they got to play with the ball. Now here is where I wanted to show you at home. He was like, okay, like you're, I can tell you're really upset, little brother. It doesn't matter. I just want to play a game. Getting along can be more important than getting everything I want. So here they played at the Candy Town, and then maybe they'll play checkers next so that they both get a win-win. So I thought that was very mature of him because now he's happy because he gets to play a game and they all get to play a game together instead of everyone being angry and walking away. And then they're sharing the ball at school. So we had a little thing that he got over and he got a big thing that he worked through. So I thought that was really interesting to see someone else's problem to help us think about our own. So my Big Stuff Little Stuff poster is right here. And some of the big stuff I wrote down that you need to work through and talk through and hang on to for a little bit are some of these ones. So this one is not listening after you tried explaining. So when you talk to someone and they're not listening, like in the story, when she took the ball and he was like, hmm, that didn't work out, right? She just took it and we were both really angry. And we weren't listening and they were both grabbing at it. So he made a good choice where he calmed down and just let her have it that first day and then worked really hard to figure out, hmm, what am I going to do for the next day? And then he worked through it. So that was a big thing to work through. Another thing is when if someone hurts your body, right? If someone kicks you or pushes you down or something, um, that's a big deal. We don't hurt people physically with our bodies. Um and it's, and it's something that that other person needs to learn not to do if that's happening. Now, sometimes a younger sibling is still learning that um, and they, they don't have all the right words yet. They can't think of the right words. And you guys, as five and six-year-olds now, can find the right words to talk and work it out. Um, so sometimes you might need to go to your parent to help uh, fix that, the hurting your body, if, if your younger sibling is still not using their words yet. That's okay, but they need to start learning. And so your parents and you can both start helping with that. Okay. Now, if it's a small thing, like someone bumps you or someone like touches your hand a little too hard, is that a big thing? Did that hurt? Are you physically like you feel like you have a bruise and it hurt your feelings really bad also? Then it, no, then that's a little thing. Okay. Uh, someone calls you names and makes you feel really bad. So they use their words in a really mean way. That's a big thing. Okay. And the last big thing I had was taking your stuff and not giving it back. So if someone takes something from you and takes it home in their backpack and doesn't give it back to you, that wasn't borrowing, right? They took that from you. It's called stealing. And that's a big thing. And you might need some help um, working with that person to fix that situation. Some little stuff I have. Is someone looking at you that you think is maybe is in a funny way? But you don't know what they're thinking, right? So just walk away, move away, right? Let it go. Assume the best. Assume that they were um, just in their own world thinking about something and they didn't realize they were looking at you, okay? Um, or you can go and ask them, but we use nice words if we do that, right? That's a little thing. Maybe... Um, someone else gets to go first in a game and you really want it to, again, it's more important that we play the game. It doesn't matter who goes first. Someone took your crayon and didn't say please or thank you before they gave it back. So, right, someone borrowed something without asking. That's not a big deal as long as they give it back, right? You could say, hey, can you uh, ask me next time before you take it, right? That's a little thing. So you just quickly fix it and then you can let it go. And if someone gets to choose before you, maybe um, at home you guys are choosing um, where to go on a walk or something like that, and someone else gets to choose and you didn't get to choose. Or maybe you were playing a game together and you get to choose your little person that walks around the board and you got to choose second and you didn't get your favorite one, right? Again, think what's more important, that we get to play the game or that I get every little thing I want, okay? So that's an example of some big stuff and some little stuff. I hope at home you can think of some big stuff that bothers you and some little stuff that bothers you that maybe you can learn to start letting go. Okay? All right.
Another thing I wanted to talk about um, is this book. It's a really great book. It's called Let's Be Enemies by Janice May Udry and pictures are by Maurice Sendak. So I'm going to read that to you guys today. I want you to think about our garbage can tool as we go through and think about what is happening to their friendship and how they could use the garbage can tool. Okay. Let's be enemies. <laughs> James used to be my friend, but today he is my enemy. <laughs> James always wants to be the boss. James carries the flag. James takes all the crayons, he grabs the best digging spoon, and he throws sand. Neither of them look very happy in a lot of these pictures, huh? So now James is my enemy. Now he hasn't got me for a friend. Mm -hmm. When James was my friend, I invited him to my birthday party. I always shared my pretzels and my umbrella with him. <laughs> I showed him where the horny toad lives. We were such good friends that we had the chicken pox together. Oh my gosh. But I wouldn't have the chicken pox with James now. He's my enemy. James always wants to be the boss. Always. Do you think always? He didn't look like he was always the boss in these ones, huh? They looked like they were getting on really nicely. I miss him. I'm going over and poke to poke James. I think I'll put his crayons in the soup. I'm going to tell him not to let James go to school because he always wants to be the boss. James will think he's the boss of the whole school. I'm going right over to James' house to tell him. I'm going to tell him that from now on, he's my enemy and he'll have no one to play with. Hello, James. Hello, John. I came to tell you that I'm not your friend anymore. Well, then I'm not your friend either. We're enemies. All right. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, they're both so angry. Hey, James. What? Let's roller skate. Okay. Have a pretzel, John. What the hell are they sharing now? Thank you, James. <laughs> so they got an argument about some stuff, huh? But they let it go at the end, right? And they said, we want to be friends more than worrying about all those little things. So some things are more important than those little things. Okay, so that's our story, Let's Be Enemies. So for the ending of our lesson today, friends, I want you to think about how you can let the little things go. Our garbage can tool, I let the little things go. Okay. So when we use our garbage can tool, okay, there's a few different, like the breathing tool with the measuring tape or the balloon in your belly. There's a couple different ways you can um, show the garbage can tool. So one gesture is you can stand up and place a hand on your waist, holding your elbow out to the side, like you're holding a garbage can with your arm. And with your other hand, you toss that offending garbage into your garbage can. Ugh. So you're throwing it away. You're saying, oh, this is a little thing. I'm going to toss it in there. Okay. You could slam dunk your garbage into a net imaginary in the air. Um, another way you could do it is you can make a thumbs up sign. And then you um, open the garbage can. Bloop, and then you thumb down. You close it. Okay. So this is a good one if you if you don't want someone to kind of see you, that you're having to calm down and, and do this. Then you can do it in your pocket and you are like, okay, <sighs> got to let this go. Open the garbage can. 
put all those negative thoughts in it. <sighs> okay, I'm closing it. Boop, I'm moving on. All right. And the last one, the one um, that we've used in class a little bit before I introduce this, was that we toss it over our shoulder. So we'd say, oh, is that a big thing or a little thing? And we'd say, you know what? That's a little thing. I can move on. And you toss it over your shoulder. Okay. But right now, we're going to do a little um, meditation. So go ahead and choose a spot where you can relax. So if you're on the floor or in a chair, either one's okay. Place both feet on the floor, your hands on your knees or your desk. Sit upright with your head balanced easily. Let your eyes gaze on one spot or close them if you like. Take three slow belly breaths with one hand on your belly and one on your heart. And remember how you use the garbage can. With the garbage can tool, you can let things go and walk on by. Remember, if something happens that you don't like, you can take a deep breath and put it in the garbage can. <sighs> take a moment and imagine yourself using your garbage can tool. Easily, effortlessly, whenever you need it, take another breath. <sighs> Think about breathing in the problem and the happiness you'll feel when you let it go and get to do the awesome stuff that awaits your day. <laughs> All right, when you're ready, wiggle your fingers and toes. Bring yourself back to the room, fully awake, aware, and ready for what's next. All right, friends. So your garbage can tool, I sent you um, your garbage can tool card so you guys can decorate it. You can add things that bother you that you think you could throw away. Um, I wrote, I can move on. So for me, when I let something go, I'm like, okay, what's next, right? I want to get on and move on to something fun. And so sometimes if something bothers me, I think about a way to make myself happy afterwards. And that helps me forget about that little thing that really shouldn't bother me. Um, so I let the little things go, okay? The other thing you can say to yourself is throw it in the can and walk on by. Say it with me. Throw it in a can and walk on by. So that's something that you can say to yourself to kind of perk up your spirits. When something keeps putting you down, you say, you know what? I'm going to throw it in the can and walk on by. And we don't usually take stuff out of the garbage, right? So once you put it in there, try to leave it in there and not, not think about it and not bring it up again. If you do, maybe it was a big stuff. Go ahead and take it on and talk and work it out and help to fix it. But we want to really think about those small things that we think we can let go. And that won't really hurt anyone, okay, if we do that. All right. Thanks, friends. I hope you enjoyed learning about the garbage can tool today. I hope you guys do the home connection letter with your parents, too. <laughs>